Have you ever thought about how a development in triangles during the Islamic golden era can be so useful in economics? Well, my name is Adura, and I'm here to talk about how Atusi's work in astronomy became of such importance. Born Abu Jafa Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn Hassan al Tusi in 1201 modern day Iran, Tusi or Nasir ad Din al Tusi was a revered Muslim mathematician, astronomer, and theologian during his time. One of his biggest contributions was developing the trigonometry into an independent discipline from astronomy. Atusi's treatise on the quadrilateral was written to discuss and expand the work of a former Greek mathematician, Menelaus. From here, Atusi expounded on Menelaus's work, which would later develop into the sign rule. The sign rule is used to find the sizes of angles and the corresponding length of sides of any kind of triangle when a side and two angles are known. This refers to the act of solving a triangle by calculating the unknown sides and angles. How does this concern the economic discipline, you might ask? Imagine that you have a data set, and there are meaningful negative or zero value observations. What do you do? The usual way is to exclude these observations, but they are meaningful. This is where the sine rule comes in, or rather, the inverse hyperbolic sine is applied. And I'm sure you have also heard of the economic business cycle. The cyclical graph looks like a continuous wave that looks like this. This wave can be derived from the function y equals to sine x, such as below. To conclude, Atusi was not just any philosopher, mathematician, or astronomer. His Arabic commentary on multiple prominent Greek mathematical texts, including geometrical works of Euclid, Archimedes, Theodosius, Menelaus, Ptolemy, and Apollonius, played an exemplary role in the transmission of the Greeks' contributions to Europe. Atusi's work on the sign rule has evolved from its development in spherical geometry to being applied to solve various real-life problems such as in economics.